Hey guys, Jessica again with another Parallax Project of the Week. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was in middle school and high school, my sister used to always sneak into my room and steal my clothes. And it was so frustrating because I could never actually prove that she had done it. She would either, you know, sneak it back in there real fast, or my parents would just tell me, maybe it's in the dirty clothes. You can't actually prove that she was in your room. Maybe you're experiencing a similar problem with a roommate or a sibling or even a coworker. Whatever the case may be, we are gonna get you that proof by designing a simple door alarm using the Ping ultrasonic sensor, the Parallax serial LCD display, a piezo speaker, and some LEDs. Let's get started. In this project, we'll program an alarm to go off when the Ping detects an object within a predetermined distance. Also, if the alarm activates when you aren't around, the LCD will keep track of the number of times the alarm was triggered. That way, you can prove the alarm was activated and call out the intruder. As always, full documentation and source code can be found on forums.parallax.com, Stamps in Class, Stamps in Class Mini Projects, Build Your Own Door Alarm. Here you will find all the information needed for completing this project on your own. Now both the Ping Ultrasonic Sensor and the Parallax Serial LCD Display are included in our Smart Sensors and Applications Kit. Also included are mounting brackets for the Parallax Serial LCD. Now, I've decided to use them in my project, but they are not necessary for completing the alarm. If you'd like to use them, there are assembly instructions included in the project documentation. Now, as always, once we have everything wired, we're going to want to make sure it was wired correctly. The program TestAlarmCircuit.bs2 will test each aspect of our circuit in one shot. First, the piezo speaker should emit a tone and the LED should turn on. Then the LCD should display the echo times for the ping ultrasonic sensor. One very important thing to check is the echo time of the ping when it's placed in the area that you want to monitor. That way we can code the alarm to activate whenever the echo time of the ping is less than the echo time when nothing is in its way. And that's all the testing that we're going to have to do. Now I should mention that I've included a little bit of personal flair to my alarm. And that's to include a Jolly Roger, or skull and crossbones, on the LCD display. That's really because, you know, pirates are menacing, and I want whoever's trying to take my stuff to feel uncomfortable. Now, maybe, you know, pirates aren't your thing. Maybe you're more of a ninja type person. In any case, in the next few steps, I'm going to show you where you can find how to make your own custom characters to display on the Parallax Serial LCD. In Smart Sensors and Applications Chapter 1, it explains how to define special characters for the LCD to display. Basically, the LCD square is a 5x8 block, and you can define which square in that block gets colored through C or OUT commands. In order to make sure that I got my display correct, I mapped out the area in Word and filled in boxes until I got my character to look the way I wanted. Once I was happy with my display, I used that map to define the custom characters in PBasic. Six total, taking up the first three columns and rows. Now, if you want to create your own custom characters and you don't have the Smart Sensors text, you can actually download the book for free from our website. Just go to www.parallax.com education and click the Tutorials and Translations link. Here you can download PDF versions of all of our Stamps and Class texts. So now that we've had some fun with custom characters, we can now finish the rest of our alarm. Let's take a look at the final code and see how it works. The very first thing you will want to do is replace the value of the constant max dist with the value of the echo time when the alarm was placed, unobstructed, in the area you wanted to monitor. After that follows the custom character definition for the Jolly Roger, which you can replace with whatever you want. We then initialize the LCD and set the intruder count to zero. If the alarm is not triggered, two Jolly Rogers are displayed along with the words alarm armed. Once the echo time of the ping is less than the unobstructed echo time, tones will play, LEDs will flash, and one will be added to the intruder count. Now there are a couple of factors that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're implementing this design. For example, say you're not home and someone trips the alarm. They find the source of the sound and unplug the battery from your system. Now you can either hide the board really, really well or just unplug the piezo speaker to put it in stealth mode so no alarm is sounded when it's triggered. 
You can also attach an extension cable to the ping to mount it away from the board for added stealth. It's totally up to you. And as always, full documentation and source code can be found on forums.parallax.com on the Stamps and Class Mini Projects page. Until next time, happy developing!